Hi guys, welcome back to a new Masters of the Universe review. Today we are going to have a look at Masters of the Universe Classics Dark Despot Skeletor. So this is the Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe movie from 1987. So first of all he comes in the, uh, the usual brown shipper. Um, Super 7 did continue that tradition after picking up from Mattel. So here he is out of the shipper. So he's kind of hidden in there a little bit um, behind the uh, logo. Um, he's just on the standard card. We have collector's choice on the back. We have a bio, oh, sorry, on the side. We have a bio on the back and uh, some art and the rest of the William Stout collection, which is the movie collection and the uh, Club Greyskull uh, figures four of the six. There was also Prince Adam and Shadow Weaver in this wave. Um, on the other side we have Super 7 and information underneath. But uh, let's get him off the card and have a closer look. And here he is off the card. And now I am a huge fan of the uh, 1987 movie. I know it was not everyone's cup of tea but um, I enjoyed it as a kid and um, I still enjoy it to this day. I usually watch it, you know, one or two times a year. Um, so yes, I was very excited to get these figures. Um, they look great. Uh, as we know, they're based on the William Stout uh, costume designs more than the movie itself. I think there was a rights issue, um, so that was Super 7's way around it. But um, having a look at Skeletor, he's on a um, Classics Buck. Uh, his biceps look like they might be new because they're a little bit less detailed than um, the usual classic bicep. Uh, he has uh, this armor glued onto his shoulder. His head is movable. It's a separate piece to his armor. Uh, to his uh, cloak. I do actually wish the cloak was cloth and maybe a bit longer um, so it could be sort of flowing behind him like in the opening of the movie. But articulation wise he has the standard um, classics articulation knee, ankle, hip, uh, his waist joint. His skirt is kind of loose it's not glued on so you might need to just position that straight. Uh, he has an ab crunch, he has uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and neck or head. Um, so yeah, he has uh, some really nice detailing on him, as I mentioned. Um, all these look like new pieces. He's got uh, the paint on his hands, uh, on his skirt, around the back, even uh, shading on the back of his armor that's covered, which is really great. Um, and his cape and cloak actually have like maybe a red wash over them. Yeah, they're flat back. It's flat black on one side and then it has like a maroon sort of uh, brushing over top. So yeah, super happy with him. I think he looks great. His face is very cool. So you can focus on that. Um, and this is what he comes with. He has his uh, Havoc staff, just like the movie. Very cool, very detailed, some great, great paint apps on that. Now mine's a little bent from being in the card. Um, but I'm sure I can just bend that back into shape gently. He also has his sword from the movie. Very cool. It's got the skull and the bat wings on it. And he comes with a cosmic key, which is different to the cosmic keys that we have had with other figures. So we also got a cosmic key with um, Gwildor, which is this one. And then we got a repeat of that with um, pre-disguise, a uh, pre-Eternia disguise He-Man, which is that one. So we've had um, three cosmic keys, but this one is by far the closest to the movie. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. I will uh, post some photos of him with uh, some of the other characters for a comparison and um, stick around.